Hey everyone, welcome to another video. On this one, what I'm going to do is show you how to use an emulator called DOSBox, but we're going to use it through a front end called Defend Reloaded, which makes it way simpler than just trying to do the command lines, you know, through DOS. So let's go ahead, we're going to open up our browser and we're going to type in Defend Reloaded. And you're going to see this website right here. We're going to click on that. Now, the one we want is this one. It does have packages with stuff built in. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you to, you know, set it up from scratch and create a folder with a game in it and launch it from within this front end. So go ahead and download that. Once you have that downloaded, just go to your uh, folder and you're going to go ahead and double click on that. And you're going to go ahead and install that. Once you install it, you should have a shortcut uh, that you chose on the installer. I'm not going to show you the install on here because I already have it on my computer. But basically, just go ahead and hit install. You're going to have an option to make it portable. You're basically going to pick all the defaults and all the recommendations on there. So it should put it in your programs folder. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, program files x86 so let me go in there yeah so this would be the default so it's more than likely going to be this so once you have that just go ahead and launch the program and what I'm going to show you is the quickest way to get this set up now the first thing you're going to do once you get this open you have the program installed you're going to want to go to this spot right here file and then go to program options and you want to make note of these locations right here in the directories because this one here to make this the easiest for you we're going to actually make a shortcut to that and the quick access on the left hand pane of the windows explorer so let's go ahead and go to that location on your uh, computer as you can see, this is where you're going to put all the games. So now that we know that's there, you're going to maneuver to whatever your location is. So just remember that location, travel to it on your Windows Explorer. So users, defend reloaded, and you're going to see this one here that says virtual HD. You're going to uh, click on this folder left click and we're going to drag it over here to where it says quick access I'm not going to do it obviously because mine's just already here so the reason for doing this is so this could be super easy for you when you install the game you don't want to be maneuvering back and forth you'll literally just be able to copy the folder of your game open this up and just paste it in the you know inside there as you can see I already have various uh, games in here for example here's a uh, doom so you basically just copy the files paste them in a the folder you know name it the name of the game and you're good to go and then we'll show you how quick this is to set this up so once you're in here to install a game what you're going to do is hit insert on your keyboard and you're going to see this uh, window pop up so what I'm going to do is delete the Doom folder that I have in there. I'm going to delete this so I can show you how to install this. So we're going to delete. So I'm just going to add that game again. So we're going to go ahead and hit insert. You're going to type the name of the game. Okay, once you have the name of the game typed up on the profile name section, you're going to go ahead and click on this box here. Now you're going to go to the virtual HD folder, preferably through the shortcut I told you right here, so it'll be easier for you. And then you have that uh, folder with the game pasted inside. So you're going to go ahead and pick the application, which is what launches the game. A lot of the games will have a set of file also. If they do, I recommend you go in here and pick up, you know, a set of file also. So we have an entry for the you know file to launch the game and also the file to launch the setup now normally what works best for the games is try and keep this on dynamic and on auto or actually let's do max now you can go in here and change the uh, speeds if it's too fast or it's too slow 
and then you can also control the speed of it by hitting for example let's say you're running something you can go ahead and hit uh, the cycles increasing or decreasing by pressing on F12 control F12 and control F11 and that way you can kind of play with the speed and get it to where you feel comfortable with it uh, memory I like to leave that alone unless something doesn't work and you can always go online and check on various sites and see if it you know needs certain configurations in here to get it to launch most of the times it's gonna work without having to play with that what I do on here full school resolution pick this one here zero zero that's gonna give you the desktop resolution that you're currently running at I prefer full screen so leave that on for the render you can choose different ones on here I'm gonna go ahead and pick OpenGL just a quick note if you do want to use this with reshade you're gonna pick OpenGL and I believe it works with either one of these from here to there and you'll be able to use reshade okay so this you're gonna leave here keyboard you're gonna leave alone and then most games you can configure the uh, you know the keyboard control settings from within the game uh, these settings I will leave alone because leaving them by default like they're set will be easier for you if you need to click on the setup uh, file and it'll set up automatically with these settings here joystick you really don't need to mess with this unless you launch a game go into the configuration uh, menu for the joystick and it doesn't work you can go on here for me usually if that happens uh, I'll either pick auto and if that doesn't work then auto and uncheck this or vice versa and usually that'll work so once you have that set up we're gonna go ahead and as you can see uh, the game is on there once you have that done so you should be able to launch it straight from here and as you can see that it's running uh, really good and that's as vanilla as you can get if you like playing like the old DOS games and you like to play it uh, you know the way they, they were um, meant to be played when they first came out you can basically you know load up DOS and just get the games running through here as you can see like I said this is as vanilla as it gets so the game is running exactly the way it would have when it came out and we're running this through uh, through DOS emulated through the uh, through DOS box. But like I said, the best way to run this and do it is doing it through uh, Defend Reloaded, which is a front end for it. And as you can see, the game's playing fine. There we go. Super quick exit here. So as you can see, this is the easiest way to get this to work with the old games. And if you're in the game, I always recommend, like if you're in a game like this, always go ahead and save it first. And then also, if for example, if you choose to do Doom, you know, any game basically is gonna have the options to go in there and save it. If you're using the front end, always save your settings, because if it, you uh, do control F9 and jump out a lot of them will not save the settings so you will have to exit the game out just normally so just hit you quit and you go now if you want to jump out of something super quick and you run in DOS box just hit control F9 and you'll jump right out of the game okay again that's not recommended if you're running something for the first time and you did uh, you know change of the settings is more than likely you will not remember them so just make sure you do at least one time when you save it and then if you're running a game once the settings are saved you can go ahead and uh, control F9 out of it without losing the settings now there is a lot of more things you can do with this but for right now I want to keep it at this stage because this is basically just how to install the games and run them you can actually also install games from CDs so there's a lot of other features and neat things you can do with this one now one that I will show you because it is super quick for example we just installed Doom you can right click on here 
you can make an archive file package and what that'll do is it'll make a zip file zip file for you and we're gonna do it right there and I have it saved to the desktop and you're literally just going to click save there we go so you just go ahead and click save and then what it's going to do is make an archive now the cool thing with that once you have your games archived like that let's say you know for example you know you're traveling to another place you want to run the game you got another computer that you want to set it up on you would just go here to file and you would go to import and you would import archive file and you literally just click on that and it's going to install itself with the settings that you had before and it will put it here on the menu so that's the easiest way to set this up hopefully you guys can go ahead and you know enjoy and play in the old DOS games uh, hopefully this was useful to you you guys have a great day go ahead and please subscribe and you guys have a great day and we will see you on the next video